all right now in this video i want to max this raster to the particular area so for this operation i have this pokhara shape file which is the one of the municipality of our nepal so first thing i want to upload this pokhara shape file to my uh, my this google collab so for that i am selecting everything expect this log file so i want to upload it inside the uh, my data folder so this is simply the ssp file uh, the mandatory file will be ssp ssx prj and dbf only other things are the optional files so now uh, for masking this raster actually i have to read this uh, masking this raster i have to read this uh, pohora.ssp file so for reading this actually i i want to import the another library called fina so if i try it i think uh, it shows us error so maybe i need to install it okay so after installation i can use this library so okay if i try import fina now it should work okay now it's working so now what i want to do is i want to read the my shapes so for reading the shape i am going to use the fina open statement with uh, with the with case so with fina dot open so for opening the raster data we have rasterio dot open for uh, open uh, function for opening the vector file we have the fina dot open file so for this actually i have to provide the path to the ssp so copy path and then paste it here and then i want to open it in the read mode and as save file okay and then from here actually uh, if let's suppose if i type print uh save file so i'll get the output like this so similar kind of output and then if i type like the i have to run the for loop inside here uh, inside the save file because uh, for our case right now we have only one save feature but uh, there might be uh, lots of features so i have to apply the for loop for feature in save file so for each feature we need to like if i try to print a uh, feature and then if i print the geometry and then it will print out the geometry like this so this is the type polygon and then this is the coordinate of my geometry right so right now it's outputting only one feature that means we have only one boundary so i want to save it as the saves so what i can do is saves is called to uh, might be i can provide the list and then i can provide the feature and then geometry so i want to uh, get the saves uh, using my feature geometries okay now it ran so i have the shapes uh, available so if i type the shapes so i'll get the shape uh, so like this so right so i have this uh, i have this list with the number of polygons sorry it's quite long so maybe i can turn off this output and then so now similarly i want to open my raster file rasterio.open and then i want to open the raster data which is this file so i want to clip this file so i'll provide the path to this file over here and then maybe by default it will open in the read mode so i don't have to provide the uh, r and then i'll read it as the src and then now 
I can I have to output the out image and then out task formation parameter T-R-A-N-S-F-O-R-M might be and then I can write the raster dot max dot max uh, it's coming from the raster max feature so I can max the my SRC source uh, raster which is Nepal LC 2020 with the like my shapes right shapes is the array and then I have to provide the crop equal to true so if I write this so and then if I like out meta so out meta will be the output metadata will be the source dot meta as we seen in the previous uh, lecture so uh, this will store the output data uh, data source and then output transformation and then this output metadata will be the same as input metadata so we have to update this output metadata based on our this uh, output transformation so for updating it what we can do is out meta dot update function and then we can update the function so driver will be the geotiff and then uh, our height will be the out image which is the image dot shape and then if i type one it will be height and then for the width uh, our width will be the image dot shape and two uh, the first zero index represent the number of band and then for the transform actually i have to provide the out transform right so out transform is coming from up here and then this will output our metadata this will update our metadata and after that actually we have to finally write our new raster clipped raster raster data so raster dot open and then i can provide the output location so for me it's uh, here and then maybe i can write pohara lc uh, 2020 sorry 2020 dot dot uh, dot tip and then is uh, i'll write it uh, i think i am writing it so i have to open it in the right mode and then i have to uh, um, update the metadata so i'll write a stochastic meta is dst right and then after that i can write dst dot write and then what i can write is i can write the out image right and then if i run it so out image raster has no module marks maybe i need to import it uh, import uh, rasterio dot max dot max and then okay now it should work so mm, data set has no no attribute out meta so uh, oh, sorry it will be src dot meta it's the input meta so now it ran successfully so that means if we refresh here so we'll get the pohrai lc dot file so for for just for the confirmation maybe i can download it and then visualize it in the uh, arcgis or i can even visualize it with the show function so so rasterio dot open and then i want to open this file uh, where is pohara uh, pohara dot t file maybe inside output and then copy path paste it here and then run it so now i got the uh, this 
file for uh, land cover file for the Pohara. If I run it here in the ArcGIS, so I can see the output like this, right? Okay, so I think that's all about the masking the raster. So I hope you enjoyed it. Some of the things are little bit advanced, but uh, you 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 if you try to understand it, it's the pretty simple way. So. I'll see you in the next